Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Doo Sue. It's Friday evening. I uh, hope you've all had a good week. Today is the 18th of June. It's my youngest daughter Rachel's birthday today. So um, I took Harry to school this morning so I was able to see her first thing this morning and take her presents and, and card with me. So that was nice to see her before we start you know our days um so uh, the weather here is absolutely <laughs> gone from being really really humid hot but very humid the trouble in the uk when we have heat is we have awful humidity with it which is something that i think people abroad don't seem to get um I might be wrong, but, um, you know, when I've been, been lucky enough to go to Spain and, and, um, Cyprus and places like that, Madeira and, and places like that, it's not been humid. So the heat is more, um, more welcoming, really. You can withstand it. Well, certainly I can withstand it much better than I can over here. So we've gone from extreme humidity and sun to lashing rain and the temperatures have got plummeted right back down again. So this is typical English weather, although I think it's getting worse and worse as the years go on. So I do think there's something to be said for climate change. Something's going on. I don't remember us having this adverse sort of heat and then cold. Uh, when I was growing up but maybe I've got that sort of memory where I don't, don't actually remember what was real and what wasn't so I'm just adjusting the camera slightly uh, just to make sure you could see me anyway today I thought we'd do another episode of the Marguerite Miller 52 week collage challenge and it's hashtag CW planner 21 so we're using this A5 book and we're just using one page per collage. This was the last one we did, which was hashtag CW Planner 20. And I really, really like this one. It's one of my favourites. So, so let's have a look at the five items that we have to put on. Um, so we've got text in a foreign language, something stapled. Um, something related to coffee, a postage stamp, something with wings, the bonus is tissue paper or a napkin. So I think you could probably find all six of those. I've had a rummage around and um, this is what I found. So text in a foreign language is I've got this. It's a double page that I had of this Asian um beautiful script i don't know what that actually means um but I, i'm fascinated by all the different letters that they the way they i mean they are so beautiful it just fascinates me how they ever learned to to write like this I think it's some sort of index or list so it, it is white so I've I've doled this bit down and we'll go around the edges um, when we start so I think we're going to use that and then something stapled well I've got some banners and I thought what we'll do is we'll make a set of three and we'll just staple them to uh, somewhere along the top of the page I thought that would be a nice idea and it'd be something different. Then we have something related to coffee. So in one of my collage books, I found a lovely, um, what looks like silver coffee pot. Coffee pots are very tall and slim, whereas the teapots were dumpy and round. So you can usually tell the difference, but that that's a very, very beautiful. Look at that lovely carved wooden handles. I don't know what era that's come from um but it was in a vintage collage book so then we have a postage stamp and this isn't a vintage postage stamp this is one that came from a card that was sent to us by my 
parents-in-law from Ireland and it's commemorating 50 years of the Illum pipes. Now the Illum pipes are well they look a bit like bagpipes but they're not the same as bagpipes they don't specifically blow into them they have them on their lap and they squeeze the bag and absolutely beautiful haunting music and we've been to see a few people play live when we've been over there so I managed to rescue this because my husband when he gets anything in the post has a habit of just tearing it and it's torn a couple of lovely Irish stamps I mean I know it's not vintage but I do like it it's I don't know if you can see it it's sort of I don't know if that's a boar or a pig that's got a set of pipes and well he, he looks like he is blowing into them so there's possible they do blow but they play them in a different way to bagpipes they're not quite the same worth the same anyway I don't want to say any more in case I upset anyone who's Irish and knows a lot more about them than I do so I'm going to put that on and then something with wings so I've got a lovely chaffinch and this is out of Edith Holden's um garden garden diary garden notes something like that so that's something with wings and then we can use the bonus so I've picked out um one or two napkins to use this one's actually got fairies on which is again something with wings although it's mythical uh, depending on how you what you think um, so we may put that on in the background that might or part of it would be nice I think so I think what I'll do is I'm just going to cut a quarter of this napkin off And we'll probably use glue stick if we can to stick it down. Now, I know that some people don't always stick or decoupage napkins down with Mod Podge and that sort of thing. So, just put that there. So, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to use a piece of this. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to distress. Now, if you can hear frantic whoring from Paddy it's because Daddy's been home from work he finishes earlier on a Friday and he's been home for about 50 minutes there's then he's had to go out because he's got an appointment for a knee scan at the hospital where I work so it's literally up the road it's only like four miles or so and now he doesn't understand that Daddy's had to go out again. Daddy said he was going out to work because that's the only thing we can say to Paddy that, you know, kind of appeases him. But obviously he didn't believe him because he's making a fuss. So I do apologise. Uh, he, um, he will settle down in a minute because hopefully Daddy will be back shortly. I'm pretty sure his appointment will be more or less on time. They don't tend to mess about at the moment. They've got so many people on their lists and not enough slots. So, you know, trying to get a lot of people in. So this must be a two-ply because I don't think there's anything else on there. So we're going to put a piece of this on, I think. A piece of this with a border would be nice. We just might just put it over there like that so i'm going to attempt to use my glue stick and let's get this down first so what i think we'll do is i think we'll just glue stick the whole oh no don't tell me this glue stick's running out oh I bet it is just at the point where I started this video. Let's see if I can just get enough off off here to, and we'll see if this works. I don't think I've ever used glue stick, so just going to go over it with this bone folder to smooth it out like so we'll just put some more on there and it's 
squeeze the last. Well, I did want to use this up. I'm kind of using up the ones that I don't really like while I'm waiting for my new ones to come. My scotch, which are my favourite ones. It's funny how we all have our own preferences for glues and things, isn't it? I guess, you know, it's a good job we're not all the same. It would make for a very boring world that we live in. So, the idea is to go over it. I'll just have a look in my basket on the side here just to see if I, I have got a Yoohoo Pritt stick. Now, well, actually, it's a Yoohoo. I don't know if this is... Yeah, this is a Yoohoo. This is one I'm not keen on, so I'm going to throw that one away. And I actually bought, <laughs> you know what I was saying about me buying lots and lots of things or big packs. I bought a pack of 12 and I don't like them. So we're going to use up this one. So I'm just going to now go along here with a more juicy stick. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought, you know, if someone had said to me, all oh, glue sticks are all different, I wouldn't have really believed them until I started actively using one. Okay, just going to give that on a wipe there for a minute. Now, do I, now this is not what I'm not sure about. I don't think I'm going to touch it now with any more glue. So I'm used to mod podging the the base, laying it down, then mod podging over it, but I won't. Actually, it's not worked out too badly, and we can trim this off at the end. So that's our bonus as a background. So we have our coffee pot. So let's just loosely cut this out. give us a bit more room on the page you know with hindsight if I ever do this again I'll use a double page I think or buy a bigger notebook or I've probably got well I know I have got a bigger notebook because I had this thing about notebooks so I do have one or two unused on my shelf they're like my books I just covet things like that and my books that I don't use for crafting, I've had years and collected and I am a bookworm, have been since I was able to read, which was a very young age. And um, I remember going to school when I was five and um, that's when we started school back in the 50s. And um, I remember my teacher, Miss K, I still see her. I still can, I can still picture her, and I can still remember her name. That's the impression she made on me. She was absolutely lovely, and I'm going to leave that bit there. And um, I remember her saying to my mum, "You know how." You know, when you're little, you overhear lots of things. And I say to my daughters, be careful what you say in front of your children, because even if they're playing and they don't appear to be listening, they I can assure you they will be absorbing everything that's going on. So, um, you know, and they might repeat it at a later date in front of somebody, you know. Um, so just dull that bit of white down there. Yes, yeah, so we've got that to go on. We've got this. This, I think, I have dulled down, but I'm going to take this edge off. And let's go over it around the edges. Yes, yeah, so um, I remember standing below the two of them, my mum and this Miss Kay, and... Um, she said to my mum that she was staggered at how well I could read because I was reading a book far advanced to Janet and John. And uh, But I grew up in a family that 
we used to go to the library all the time and you know it was an important place for us you know I was working class so you know we didn't have you know amazing things we didn't have a car you know we never went abroad that sort of thing it wasn't there was a class distinction back then and I believe there is still today but it's more subtle because I grew up in it so I do know I know what to see I know what what to look for you know and uh, yeah so I think she was absolutely amazed maybe she thought a working class little girl comes from you know family that perhaps didn't have a lot perhaps she didn't think we did things like read books but both my mum and my dad were avid readers and as a result it rubbed off I mean I'm one of six but it didn't rub off on all of us we weren't all interested in books not to the extent where I was where my sister Hazel who's the youngest she is you know um and I'd say my late sister Julie was the second eldest. Um, she she was as well. But my eldest Sheila and my third eldest Anita, they didn't seem to. I think Anita did actually, but not on the scale I did, you know. And Hazel does. And our late brother, he he didn't really. But he wasn't that interested in books. He's more interested in being out and about, you know, um, and sport and things like that. So I I coveted books, you know. I could not get enough of them. And in the summer holidays, particularly if the weather was like it is today, sometimes it was, or we'd be cooped up indoors, I'd probably sit and read, at least read one book in a whole day, if not more because that's what I did I loved I loved immersing myself into the world of books so I have still got some books from that and the strange thing is I, I didn't start crafting until I don't know about 2019 I guess it was but didn't go onto YouTube or anything I watched other people but um the funny thing is I was staggered when everyone was coveting the country diary of the Edwardian lady because I have one on my shelf I'm never ever going to cut up I have had that since I was a teenager and I bought and I remember getting it because I was fascinated with the watercolors and her what she wrote about and the era she came from and it, it was really odd to realized that these were now highly prized by the crafting community so i have since bought you know a second hand well a couple of them actually um for future use but um yeah it was really odd it's like you know must have had an inkling into the future i guess but that one I won't cut up. That one's beautiful. They're all different and most of them are just reproductions anyway. But some of the older reproductions are much nicer, I think, than the more modern ones. So, um, yeah. So, well, I don't know why I got on the subject of books, to be honest. Just waffling on as usual. <laughs> So we've got lovely bird and we've got this coffee pot. Maybe we'll we'll have the bird sitting as if he's sitting over that coffee pot there. And the stamp perhaps we'll have up. No, I don't know if we have the stamp there. Maybe we'll have the stamp here. So that's um already five things on there, and this is the last item. And I'm going to staple these. So I'm just going to ink round them and staple them. And then we may have to find something else to fill in a gap. 
Paddy Daddy be home shortly. Stop it. You're making a big fuss over nothing. I suppose he's been with me um, most of the day because I've worked at home today. So I guess he's fed up with my company. He's a daddy's boy. So just get my stapler out. And in fact, I think I hear daddy pulling up now. So I'm just going to shut the door before he shouts anything up the stairs. never know what he might say when he comes in <laughs> okay so just stapled those like that and then I'm going to staple them again I think we'll staple them somewhere like that like so maybe another one up there which has gone through my back piece but that's already done so I think oh this just has decided to stick itself there look now so it have to stay there now so let's just give that oh this is probably getting dry this one because it's been in my basket for ages because I don't like it it's getting its own back now Yeah, I don't know why I started. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I started talking about books and God knows what. Who knows how my mind works. <laughs> so we may use the art glitter glue for these thicker pieces because I've got a feeling that that stick may not glue them down. I'm sure that's one of the reasons I didn't like it because things did not stay stuck down. So we said we'd have this kind of here. Like this, it's going to be very unusual this one, isn't it? So we'll have to have a little story, I think. So the little birdie came down the chaffinch and landed on the coffee pot because he could hear Ilum pipes through the window and he wondered what was making that noise was it another bird okay we may just snip that branch off there and we will go along that edge have to really press that down well this bone folder comes in handy for all sorts of things <laughs> it's a good back scratcher if you've got an itch <laughs> so I hope you've all kept yourselves well Okay, let's trim this down now, the back. Excuse my arms, oops. Oh, I can see this cable now, so sorry about that. It's always something not right. To just have to show you my arms <laughs> to actually get that off the edge. Like so. Okay, now let's have a look. So we've got the bird. So we've got something with wings, we've got something related to coffee, we've got the postage stamp, the foreign text, we've got the bonus at the back, background of tissue paper, and we've got a stapled banner. So we've got a, a gap now. Can you see it down here? 
so I'm wondering what we can put in to fill that up with now these are curious these you know I said before this is one of the Tim Holtz things I never know what to do with that shape I haven't actually worked that out yet so what should we put on we could have a a label I guess um have something have some other flowers like that would be quite nice I do like those flowers and then something here so just have a look at the labels let's get the label box out and find something suitable um Books, we were talking about books. Maybe have that, but I still want to put something in there. Um, that's not quite stuck down. But I couldn't have been Daddy that came back then, so I haven't heard him come in. Somebody's pulled up, so it could be in. So I'm glad we've um, shut the door. So, well, this is nice. This little word that says bloom and grow. Bloom and grow. Let's take the books off. I'm being sentimental. Bloom and grow and a label like that I think we we'll, we'll probably put these on I think we'll put these on We're just filming so um, sorry about that predictable wasn't it when you're trying to film look at that one that's got 1897 on now that's bigger so that would fill that in and then we could have bloom and grow i don't know up here somewhere like that would be nice and what about if we put um 21 on we've got a two now can we find a one in this box let's have a look quickly i don't want to take too long over this and we've found another two ah found a one here we are we'll put one on so we will use these so i'm just going to take corners off this to give it a bit of interest like that. Let's ink round it. So this is a phrase from Angela Kerr's typewritten words and phrases, which I really like. And we've got a bit of this lovely sparkly webbing, so we could put it on the on that. It's another dimension. Oops wants to go back in the pot so got that and we don't want it there I think we'll have it maybe up here it's too much all in a line I'm not keen on that so let's ink around this and then get this on just dulling it down a little bit because there's some white in it I can't remember whose fussy cuts these are sorry um, might be somebody called Stephanie I don't know why I've got that name in my head but I seem to have. 
probably totally wrong. Totally wrong. So that's there. And we will look around this just to get rid of that white, really. should think see if we could just pull that up a little bit and have that under there like so so it's going over the top yes it's been a really gloomy day today now that a bit of tissue because this is not a dry wipe I've picked up a bit of kitchen towel I'll get that off when it's dry so we want to quickly get rid of the white on here and we could put this lump down I think we can have that over here and then we want this over here I think so let's put some I don't think it matters what side up that is somehow I don't know if this is going to it should stick I'm sure I've used art glitter for that webbing before once I put this on the top it will be nice right so I think we're done keep it simple I don't know if it's worth keeping this but I will I can never throw anything away see I don't like it but I still won't necessarily throw it away <laughs> I don't know why my tear ruler seems to have got bent just putting my stapler away in the drawer and that's glued it on right so at the ink right so we have here hashtag cw planner oh we didn't put those on did we mm -mm. we need to put some i think we need to put something underneath let's just quickly get a bit of tea bag just when i thought i'd finished a little bit of tea bag without i'm just shaking there's always a bit of residue tea in these even though they've been dried out so I'll just take that edge off we only want a very small piece to go under these we'll just see what it looks like so yeah I like that Okay, glue, I just pinned it, didn't I? So we'll get this down. I never like things totally straight. That's the one. Obviously, I like labels and things to be straight, unless I've deliberately put them on an angle. But everything else, right. Okay, right. Just see if that's... Right, okay. That's 
good as it gets. Right, so hashtag CW Planner 21. We have text in a foreign language. We have something stable, which is a banner. We have something related to coffee. It's a coffee pot. We have a, an Irish postage stamp commemorating the Elam pipes. We have something with wings, which is this lovely chaffinch here. And also we have the bows in the background, which is tissue paper with fairies on, that also have wings. And then we have filled in the bits with some bits and bobs. So that is hashtag CW Planner 21. And I hope you enjoyed watching that. Very quick, very simple. Um, I'm trying to hone down my videos a bit because they, I'm conscious that some of them are a bit long. Right, okay, well, I'll see you again soon, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.